It's MC Monty in a place to be. Welcome to the adventures of MC Monty. Today, we're going to get into some Star Wars. As you can see, I'm rocking my fresh Rebel gold and black t-shirt with my matching gold and black Nike Dunks. Hey, can't forget about the black and gold hat. Yeah. Leading up to Star Wars Day, you know, May the 4th, and the release of Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, my girlfriend and I have been obsessed with everything Star Wars. Star Wars fandom to the max. We made replica lightsaber hilts. We made full lightsabers that light up. We watched all the Star Wars movies throughout the month of April so we can be ready for the release of the Episode 9 on May 4th. And then throughout May, Star Wars fandom continued. I think I spent about 30 days straight, maybe more, doing Star Wars related things. Today I'm going to show you how I made my replica Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber hilt. And if you want to make one as well, follow along and I'll show you how. The first thing we need to do is gather our list of supplies. I made this replica Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber hilt out of PVC, EVA foam, and a key ring. Let's gather our supplies and get to work. In the description, you will see a list of everything you need. Let's do it. Today I'm going to be making Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber hilt out of PVC pipe, some scrap EVA foam, a Gatorade cap, I need my PVC cutter, some screws, hot glue gun, my heat gun, and a marker. This is a replica um, and I'm going to use this as a reference as well as a picture from the original trilogy to make Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. Here we go. Oh and I need a key ring. So I'm going to cut my PVC pipe to the length that I need the, th the small, this is a three quarter inch PVC pipe in diameter, three quarter inch diameter. This small one is going to go on the inside. Three quarter inch diameter PVC pipe goes on the inside. And the wider PVC pipe, this is one and a quarter inch diameter PVC pipe. It's going to be cut to several sizes and go on the outside. With my PVC cutter, I cut my PVC to the length that I need. Now I need several sizes of this to go along the hilt at various places. So this is going to be the center and then these pieces will line up like so. Also I forgot to mention you need something to cut with. I'm using my box cutter sharp razor blade in there because you have to cut out your EVA foam shapes that you're going to use. Seven rings.
So now you have to take a few of these and cut out a space for the thin EVA foam to fit through. Actually, you got to do that for all of them, not just a few of them. three quarter inch PVC into the one and a quarter inch PVC. So you have um, plenty of space left over. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some scrap EVA foam, cut it a little shorter than what you need it to be, roll it up, put it on the inside of the PVC. Take your hot glue gun. I want to do this immediately, so I'm just going to make, I want it to stick immediately, so I'm just going to use Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, or you can use your hot glue gun. But I'm going to put Super Glue on the end side like this. And I'm going to slide it in right away. Now I'm going to slide the thin PVC pipe in. Now it's a snug fit. Snug fit. What you need. So I'm going to use this method for all of the rest of the fittings that I need. I'm going to use this part for the fitting on the top because it's a little bit wider and what I need, the Gatorade cap is just too small to go over this inch and a quarter PVC. So I'm going to use this spare PVC part that I have and I'm going to cut these ends off with my miter saw. So that's going to be a much better fit. And look, it's coming along. Now I need to put a thin layer of extra EVA foam in here as well. And I can glue it and fit it to the top.
Now that I have all my pieces set where they need to go, mark the spot and glue them in place. I also need one, two, three, four, five, five to cut out five EBA squares and cut them to be this section at the bottom of the hill. Next, I'm going to cut five three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch squares. Then you, I make the bevel cut to get the shape that I want it to be, to look like that. It's not perfect, but it's the shape that you want it to be. I have all my major pieces in place. Next thing I need to do is put these pieces that we made earlier on the end of Obi-Wan's hilt. And I also need to take this piece and put it here. And then finally put the grips in place. So I'm going to take my drill and drill the hole into just one of these pieces. Slowly, because it's just EVA foam, so you don't want to blast it and then destroy the whole piece. And I did that so I can put this key ring through. Alright, I'm going to glue all of these into place with my hot glue gun. Also need to insert a tiny screw on the side. So in order to do that, I first am going to drill a hole.
All right, so I had the video paused and didn't realize it and I was talking and I didn't get that recorded. So, quick recap. Added the pieces on the bottom and used the key ring as the belt holder. Added the grip right here. Added the accessory power piece here. And now I'm putting the grip here, adding this grip. With hot glue, using my hot glue gun to secure all these pieces. All right, here is the base of Obi-Wan Kenobi's hilt. Looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is prime it and paint it. I took my project outside so I can spray past the dip and not fumigate the whole apartment. So as you can see, I coated the whole piece in plaster dip. And the last part is to paint the hilt the silver and the bronze slash gold parts that I need and it, it will be complete after I finish painting it. Yeah. I'm in the final stages of finishing up Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. I primed it, I painted it silver, I painted this part antique gold. Now I'm going to finish painting the grips black and then my paint job for Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber will be complete. Paint job finished. And there you have it. Your very own Obi-Wan Kenobi replica lightsaber hilt. I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you had a good time. Leave some feedback down in the comments. Let me know how you did. Show me a picture of your finished product. And let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Always remember... Adventure awaits, so get out into the world and explore. May the force be with you.